you're very welcome to this virtual recording for our virtual open day, which will give you information about the Bachelor of Social Science and Community and Youth Work, MH116, MH802, full time and part time. And I just like to say that I hope you are all keeping safe and well during this time of coronavirus, no matter where you are. There are some key points that we'd like to highlight about the Bachelor of Social Science in Community and Youth Work here in Maynooth University. So the first point is it's a professionally recognised qualification. And that means that as well as coming out with your academic degree, you also come out qualified as a professional community worker and a professional youth worker. Maynooth University, the Department of Applied Social Studies, are the longest established provider of professional education and training in the Republic of Ireland. And indeed, it's one of the only institutions that provides a qualification in both community work and youth work. It is education and training for social change and social justice. There is a supervised field work practice in each year, which we'll come to in more detail later. It's a 14 week uh, field work practice in years one, two and three in the full time programme, which gives you amazing opportunity to gain practical experience and deepen your understanding of the sector and of the work. Uh, we teach in small groups, focus on adult learning, experiential learning. We teach in the way that we want you to work with groups out in the community. And it is a balance between practice based and academic learning. In relation to that field work practice, there's the opportunity to travel as well. We have opportunities and links in countries all over the world. The Department of Applied Social Studies within Maynooth University was established in 1981 and, as mentioned, is the longest established provider of professional education and training in youth work and community work in the country. Our mission as a department is to promote human rights, social justice and equality nationally and internationally through excellence and innovation in education, research and public engagement that contributes to the development of the social professions and applied social sciences. So it's quite wordy, but also it's quite meaningful. So I'm going to read it again just to, for you to get your head around. Our, miss, our mission is to promote human rights, social justice and equality nationally and internationally through excellence and innovation in education, research and public engagement that contributes to the development of the social professions and applied social sciences. And this is something that each and every member of staff, each lecturer, each person in the department fully believes in and fully acts in alignment with. So you know that you're getting a great staff team working with you here in the department. The Bachelor of Social Science in Community and Youth Work is a fully integrated program of education and training in both community work and youth work. Social justice is the view that everyone deserves equal economic, political and social rights and opportunities. It recognises that there are inequalities in our society and that there are groups that experience marginalisation and exclusion. If we take COVID-19 as an example, for many of us, we take for granted the things that we have that keep us safe from Corona the ability to social distance, hand washing facilities to keep our hands clean, access to masks, security of income or security of employment. But there's many groups in our society who don't have those fundamental things. Um, if we think of travellers, if we think of people living in direct provision, older people in nursing homes, migrant workers, there's quite a lot of people that don't have access to those basic social distancing, hand washing facilities, access to mask, security of income. So social justice is about recognising um, that inequalities do exist, as, I, as I've just outlined, and then working to provide equal access and equal opportunities for all. And to give you a brief overview of what community work is and then what youth work is. Community work is concerned with the development and empowerment of communities through facilitating the active participation of people in addressing issues that affect them collectively and challenging the persistence of social and economic inequalities. It can be done in a variety of contexts in neighbourhoods with specific groups, for example, women, travellers, new communities, migrant workers and refugees, 
work around combating racism, as well as with local authorities and state agencies. So it's very much about challenging poverty and inequality in our, in our society, but doing that collectively. So recognising one issue that affects one person in one community and then seeing where that issue arises again and again and again is where we know we need to work collectively because that one issue is affecting many people. And rather than a community worker being the expert in somebody else's life, they're working in solidarity with communities, with groups, to enable them to understand why they've been oppressed or why they've been excluded and to enable them to gain the skills to be able to challenge that inequality themselves. So it's very much about empowerment. It's very much about sharing that power. It's very much about active participation of people in bringing about change. This slide contains an extract from the All-Ireland Standards for Community Work. The documents can be found on the website of Community Work Ireland if you want to find out further information. But really those five circles highlight the five key principles of community work. Participation, collectivity, community empowerment, social justice and sustainable development, and human rights, equality and anti-discrimination. This slide gives some examples of community work to help you understand really how the work and the principles on the previous slide can be applied in action. So working collectively with the traveling community to secure safe and quality housing. I've already referenced COVID-19 and how many traveler projects around the country at the moment are working with the local council to try and source additional housing um, so that travelers can self isolate if they need to mental health projects that include the members in the design and the objectives of the projects. That's the participation piece where I'm not making the decision for somebody else, but I'm meaningfully participating the people who are affected by the issues we're working on. Supporting lone parents to access childcare and education so that they can secure meaningful, well-paid work. So that's really understanding the, the poverty trap often that lone parents find themselves in, where if they access education or access work it can leave them less well off than they currently are so working in solidarity to support lone parents to access those things gives them the equality of access then to meaningful well-paid work working with people with disabilities so that they can voice their needs around accessibility to lead a full and inclusive life and working in disadvantaged areas to improve access to services for all members of the community they're just some of the examples of types of community work that, that, that there can be. Youth work is defined in Irish legislation as a planned programme of education designed for the purpose of aiding and enhancing the personal and social development of young persons through their voluntary participation. And it is intended to be complementary to young people's formal and vocational education and training. Youth work empowers young people and gives them a voice individually and collectively it should uphold and promote the rights of children and young people as citizens. I guess a big difference between youth work and other forms of working with young people, such as in schools, is that it is informal and that young people are there in a voluntary capacity. Often youth projects work in areas where young people mightn't have a very positive experience in school or at home. And it can often be this safe space where they come, where they feel ownership of the space, where they learn about themselves, where they take part in leadership programs, where they learn about society, where they learn about how they can have influence on making change at an individual level or collectively at a collective level. So it's very much around valuing the young person and starting where they're at and seeing the potential in every young person that comes through the door of a youth centre or a youth project um, and then build on their capacity to be to be the kind of person that they want to be but maybe have not had the chance in their life so far to do that. Again we have a, a slide with some examples of youth work to try and give you an understanding of the range and depth of youth work activity happening in Ireland at present. 
So the first one there, Belong to Sunday. Belong to is a national organisation working with LGBTQI young people in Dublin. And, and Sunday is a group. Um, Belong to Sunday is a group for young people in Dublin, but they have groups all around the country and run um, a lot of national campaigns around homo homophobic bullying, etc, etc. Life skills such as leadership, teamwork, planning, decision-making, communication, problem-solving, initiative and responsibility. So it really is about giving young people the skills they need to succeed in life. Um, and there's many, many training programs happening around the country to support young people to, to gain some of these skills. Digital and arts-based initiatives to explore issues of interest. So in both community work and youth work, the arts would form quite a strong basis um, in an alternative and creative way to work. And it can be used very well. Something like a mural or an arts based project can really be used very well to support young people to um, explore maybe social problems in a different way with a different understanding. Intercultural and international awareness activities and exchanges. So there's huge learning to be got by going and visiting other projects, other youth groups and other countries. Um, and a lot of youth projects around the country would do this um, to support their young people around getting other experiences. Spun out .ie, some of you may know of it, is an online support for young people um, that has quite an active chat boards and has information on all kinds of topics. Uh, relevant to young people's lives today. Things like recreation, sport, indoor and outdoor pursuits. So creating opportunities for young people to learn about themselves, to have hobbies and develop on an individual and collective level. Sometimes it's even, you know, just, just building confidence, building relationships. All those are skills that can be learned and developed through recreation and sport. And then there's a fantastic website called youthworkandyou.org. It was initi initiated within the department uh, and was an international project um, going on for the last couple of years. It's a very interactive website with a number of modules around youth work, youth work, um, digital youth work. You know, there's a number of examples there where you can go and explore what youth work means, how to articulate what youth work is. And each module is interactive, so there's space for you to reflect then um, and learn a bit more. And it's very, very supported towards professional workers who want to deepen their practice. You must apply through the CAO by the 1st of February 2021. And while our course is not points based, you still must meet the matriculation requirements of the university. So. As detailed here, if you're doing your leaving cert, you're required to present as a minimum two H5s and four ordinary six or H7s and an ordinary six or higher seven in Irish, English and a third language. If you are applying um, as a FETAC level five applicant, you need to have five distinctions and mature students need to be 23 by the 1st of January 2021. Our courses are called what's, are what's called restricted entry. So we don't go by points. We have a test, a group interview, an individual interview, and you'll be asked to send personal statement and two written references, but full details will be provided in 2021. So as I mentioned, for the Bachelor of Social Science in Community and Youth Work, both full-time and part-time are considered restricted entry courses. So we have our own um, recruitment process that sits alongside the university matriculation. The first part of that is actually the written test. So in usual years, you attend to the campus for a written test, which is an hour. And on the day you bring a personal statement with you about why you're applying for and the course, if you have any evidence of relevant experience, and then two written references. Following that, we invite you to an individual and group interview, which usually takes place over two days in April time. Um, so the individual interview is about 20 minutes, and then also there's a group interview that happens the same day. This year, all of that will be done online because of our current restrictions. Um, if possible, that you have some relevant experience in youth or community work, even if it's in a voluntary capacity, and all eligible candidates must satisfactor satisfactorily complete a guard vetting process. 
We reserve 50% of our places for mature applicants and application is through the CAO by the 1st of February 2021. And again, to make sure that you have community and youth work listed, uh, it doesn't have to be number one, you can, you can change the order of that. But if you don't have it on it by the 1st of February 2021, you won't be able to add community and youth work at a later date. This slide is intended to give you a brief overview of how the programme is structured. The full time course is three years and the part time course is four years and both would look at the theory, the policy and the practice of youth work and community work. So looking at the disciplines of youth work and community work on a number of levels. We would also look at things like sociology, psychology, management, all of which have an influence um, in community work and youth work and, and all of which are important to have an understanding of. All of our teaching, all of our approaches, all of our classes, all of our interactions with each other are in, underpinned by equality and human rights focus, as we've already touched on briefly. We use small group learning and we use creative methods, um, which are a central part of the programme. So the way that you learn in Minute in the, in the department is going to be how you work when you're out in the sector and out in the field. So we try to be as inclusive as possible, to be as creative as possible, to work in as many different ways as possible. And we really use adult learning and experiential learning so that you are learning by doing every day that you're that you're in college in Minute. And then that's how you'll be able to work with groups when you are out in the field yourself. As I mentioned earlier, supervised block field work placements are integral to the programme. They are 14 week uh, field work placements where you go out and you're never considered just in inverted commas. You're never considered just a student. You're there as a worker. You're in, doing your professional training. And even by the time you start your first placement, you will, will already have theory and analysis coming from your classes that you'll be able to go out and work with groups, to be able to ask questions, to participate in meetings, and really to be able to deepen your practice as either a community worker or a youth worker. It's gonna look excellent on your CV by the time you come to the end of your degree. You do a placement in community work, a placement in youth work, and there's one field work placement in each year of the programme. You will cover many modules by doing the Bachelor of Social Science and Community Work. These are just some of them listed here. Community work principles and processes, youth work principles and processes, youth and community arts, group work, equality studies, comparative and international studies, which includes visits, a rural visit to the west of Ireland, a urban visit to the north of Ireland, um, and then sociology. So full details of all our modules can be found under the course on the Maynooth website. And if you click on course structure, and that brings you into course finder and it breaks down each year by module if you want to find out further information. Naturally, as you embark on a new degree programme, you want to know what your employment and career prospects look at the end of that. So in terms of employment, you're, going, you're coming out with a professional qualification. So you are fully ready for professional employment in youth work and community work or related areas. We gave some of the examples earlier of both youth work and community work. So some of that can be at a local level in a community project or in a youth project. Some of it can also be at a national level in an organization that influences policy or supports um, umbrella groups nationally. There's also, um, I suppose, related employment in sectors such as addiction, homelessness. Really, what you are gaining is a sound foundation for positions which require social awareness, analytical skills, ability to plan and organise, etc. Um, you will gain many transferable skills which leave you very employable coming out at the end of this degree programme. In terms of academia, you can progress to a Master of Social Science in Rights and Social Policy. There is an MA in Applied Social Studies, a professional doctorate in Social Science, and the most recent addition um, within the Department of Applied Social Studies is a Master's in Social Work. So that is also an option in terms of progression. So thank you for listening. This is naturally a different way that we would do our presentations um, as part of the open day. We hope you found it 
useful, informative, that it gave you more of a sense of what community and youth work is, but also um, gave you some of the practical details about how the programme is structured and how to apply and the requirements for that. So it's just a short introduction to youth and community work today, what they are, why they are, why they are important, the importance of social justice, not just in college, but in all of our lives. The idea that it's experiential learning and adult learning, it's not going to be like any traditional learning um, environment that you've had today to date. And really, I know this from from being a past student myself, but also from seeing hundreds of students over the last few years come through the door. It is a life changing programme. If you do have further inquiries, you can contact us in the Department of Applied Social Studies at the moment with coronavirus and the, and the office not being manned email is definitely the best way to contact us we have a separate recruitment email as you can see here cywrecruitment at mu.ie and if you wish to find out more information that's our website there on the minute university.ie website and it's applied social studies and if you have specific queries that are relevant for the admissions then the admissions details are there again email is best admissions at mu.ie thank you for listening and we look forward to hearing from you in the future